Good morning, afternoon or evening, whoever's genuinely watching this in the name of Jesus Christ. So, this is about the coil. This is about birth control, abortion, and how this brings the anger of the Lord. This is going to be a controversial topic, and I know the enemy's not happy with it, but we have to spread the truth, and the truth is in Christ, and the truth is Christ. And we are children of truth as Christians. So look at this in 2 Kings 17, verses 16 to 18, King James. And they left all the commandments of the Lord their God and made them molten images, even two calves, and made a grove and worshipped all the host of heaven and served Baal. And they caused their sons and daughters to pass through the fire and used divination and enchantments and sold themselves to do evil in the sight of the Lord, to provoke him to anger. Therefore the Lord was very angry with Israel and removed them out of his sight. There was none left but the tribe of Judah only. So what the Israelites were doing was so wicked that the Lord literally removed them out of his sight. He, he just turned away from them. And one of the things they were doing was they, was they were causing their sons and daughters to pass through the fire. Now if we read other scriptures, it talks about um, people sacrificing to Moloch and stuff like that. So they were literally sacrificing children to these demonic gods. Now, someone might be going, hey, you know, that, that's not something they've done. They've, they've never put a child in a fire or sacrificed it to a god. What does putting a child in the fire, in most cases anyway, if it's done purposely as a sacrifice, what happens? The child dies. And there are principalities and powers and demons that receive worship through the killing of children, through the killing of babies. They're innocent, they're beautiful, they're precious, made in the sight of God. Obviously born with original sin and eventually would need to be born again of the water and the spirit. But children are beautiful. What's something that's going on today that is causing many children to die. We know abortion is one, but has anyone looked at this? So this is now, and, and just, just to look at the sources of this, just so you don't think, oh, this guy, he's some Bible basher and he's posting nonsense articles from Reddit or something from some Karen Christian or whatever. No, 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 this is proper, proper stuff. So look at this. Very Well Health, which is the website someone uses only high quality sources, including peer reviewed studies to support the facts, facts, by the way, not opinions, facts within our articles. Read our editorial process to learn more about how we fact check and keep our content accurate, reliable and trustworthy. So these are the sources here. The Kaiser Family Foundation and the article or the, the paper is about oral contraceptive pills and the Department of Health of Manila the Philippine Clinical Standards Manual on Family Planning 2014 edition. Additional reading is these, these things as well, Kaiser Family and Cunningham and all of these other people. And then this lady, Dawn Stacy, she has a PhD um, and she practices in mental health. And if you actually click on her profile, which hopefully will work, She's a mental health counsellor, but she her expertise is in birth control, sexual health, mental health. Um, and what she's done here, whether she's a Christian or not, um, I pray that she is a Christian and that she follows the Lord. But this, um, this article here, look at what this says here. So this is about the pill and other forms of contraception. So let's read the words here very carefully. The pill, as well as other forms of hormonal contraception, work in more than one way. They can prevent ovulation. They can lead to a thicker cervical mucus to hinder the passage of sperm throughout the cervix. And they can change the lining of the uterus in a way that inhibits implantation if fertilization occurs. So... This last point is very interesting because it's essentially saying it can change the lining of the uterus in a way 
that inhibits implantation if fertilization occurs. So I know of many cases of Christians, even married Christians, we're not talking about people fornicating now and living in willful sin. We're talking about married Christians who the wife is taking the pill or they have the coil or something like that. And these forms of hormonal contraception can work in multiple ways depending on how it's needed. But if there's fertilization, meaning the sperm and the egg, then it can change the lining of the uterus in a way that inhibits implantation, i.e. kills the baby. There's no sugarcoating this. I'm not saying this for people to feel terrible and you have no solution. The solution we have, because the Lord Jesus knew all this stuff was going to happen 2,000 years after his death, burial, and resurrection. He knew that there'd be wickedness on the earth. And obviously he's paid the price through the cross at Calvary. But we need to confess these things. I'm not saying this to plug this YouTube channel. But I'm going to be doing a video very soon, God willing, in the next day, to go through a prayer list that myself and a brother, led by the Holy Spirit, used and made it's about, you know, it's, I'm not even going to say how many pages it is because it will put people off. But it's literally a read through thing. And I'll have all the words on the screen just like this. I'll be sc scrolling through the PDF document and I'll be reading out this prayer. And also it involves this, the using of, you know, um, ungodly contraceptions, including the pill and passing children through the fire. And there's repentance for that. And the law will bring healing for this. If someone's sincere, the law will bring healing for this. But basically, this is, a, this is an important topic. And yeah, there's people who are literally sacrificing and, and killing children, killing innocent lives, um, which draws the anger of the Lord. Whether it's knowingly or unknowingly, it's still doing something that the Lord hates. But the Lord, once we know and we are aware and we repent, because people perish as well because of a lack of knowledge, as it says in Hosea. This is knowledge now that people are being given to expose the works of darkness. And this is darkness because there's millions and most likely billions of children who've been killed over however many decades now because of the pill. It's, 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 it's absolutely must be billions, actually, just thinking about the maths. Billions of children, whether they're one day old, it's a sperm and an egg that's came together and fertilized, one day old, half a day old, they're still a child. And this is bringing the anger of the Lord. And this is actually sacrificing children in a different way, but it's passing them through the fire and sacrificing them to demonic gods and creating destruction on people's lives without them even realizing. And even the natural body shows that this is wrong because there's so many women. And I've seen it as well in the past, even when I was in the world, I saw girls, they take the pill and they, they, they're just, their hormones are all over the place. They're crying one minute, they're, they're erratic another minute, they're filled with lust another minute. And then there's so many women who struggle to naturally conceive children then years later because the pill has messed up their bodies messed up their hormones and their organs this shows that this is wrong and people need to repent and stay away from this and share this message this should only be maybe max a 10 minute video please share this message this isn't tiktok it's not gonna be short form content but this could save lives not just the child's but also the people who are performing this knowingly or unknowingly murdering murdering innocent ch children so may the lord give us all understanding and mercy in the name of jesus christ amen